April is Financial Literacy Month, and today we're bringing you a story of economic empowerment. It's about a woman who went from homeless to venture capital fund founder, and she did it while living in San Francisco International Airport. ABC 7 News anchor and race and social justice reporter Julianne Glover shares Arlen Hamilton's inspiring story. For most people, the airport is the last place on earth they want to spend time in. For Arlen Hamilton, taking a stroll around San Francisco International Airport is a homecoming of sorts. This is where I spent a lot of time in 2015 when I was uh, homeless and I was out here, San Francisco, Silicon Valley, trying to raise my venture fund backstage capital. Hamilton spent countless nights living inside SFO. I would talk to my mom, I would talk to my aunt, Clotilde, and I would just, it would just suck. By day, she would be busy with meetings in Silicon Valley, hopeful she would crack into the venture capital industry dominated by white men. By night, she would pack those dreams back into her carry-on bag and come back to SFO to make her home for the evening. So I would take a pair of the jeans out, I would roll it up, and I would lay it on the, on the floor, and that would be my pillow. But I wouldn't stay in one place too long. And I always thought I might wake up to someone tapping me on the shoulder saying, hey, get up and leave. Uh, thankfully, that never happened. Today, those sleepless nights feel like a distant memory for Hamilton, who is wildly successful as a venture capitalist. Arlen Hamilton. Thank Arlen Hamilton. Arlen Hamilton. Arlen Hamilton wants to get you to your first million dollars. I essentially launched Backstage Capital while I was homeless. Um, that's the simplest way of saying it. Hamilton's company, Backstage Capital, has raised $30 million since 2015. And with that money, she's invested in 200 startups. She's providing a life-changing investment to the folks that are so often overlooked. What would happen if there were a venture fund where everyone who was a woman starting a company or a black person starting a company or Latinx, et cetera, they all knew that they could go there and have a fair chance? Could that change everything? So I set out to start Backstage Capital. And it was a woman who made the first investment in Hamilton. She said to me, I don't know what you're going to do, but I know you're going to do something really important. So I'm going to give you $50,000. She gave me $25,000 to invest in someone else to make my first major investment and $25,000 to set up shop. Hamilton's story has gone on to inspire countless people who've heard it. She's the author of two books, It's About Damn Time, and most recently, Your First Million. She also has a podcast of the same name, and now, a live event. Your First Million Live is where current and future millionaires convene. It's where we get together and we learn from each other, we network, we build, and we get inspired. And she does this work with her mother by her side. Hello. How are you? Being on this trip or was an adventure, was a journey with Arlen. Um, we had the highs and the lows. Making it that much more emotional to bring her mother to the place she once called home out of desperation. So I'm just going to show you kind of what I would, would take them into international. So to go from sleeping on the floor of the San Francisco airport to now, um, everything has changed, really. The mission has stayed the same. That mission is to invest and inspire, reminding us all of what's possible when you hold on to your dreams, no matter how out of reach they seem. I thought to myself, as I had for years leading up to this, what if I can pull this off? And that she did. Julian Glover, ABC7 News.